दसन कांति चूर्णे सहित लीव आयुष दंताले पे दत्तोल एति प्रश्न दहायक वालकाई In a letter to President Ranil Wickremesinghe in his capacity as finance minister, the Exim Bank of China, responsible for much of the loans given to Sri Lanka, said the two-year moratorium would be a short-term suspension of the debt owed to China, while asking Sri Lanka's creditors to get together to work out medium and long-term commitments. It is learned that the letter also extends China's support to the IMF's extended fund facility and requests the IMF to go ahead with discussions on debt restructuring that will lead to an IMF program. The letter giving China's assurances arrived on the eve of a Paris club meeting of Sri Lanka's creditors scheduled for the next week where Sri Lanka's debt restructuring measures are to be discussed. Sri Lanka's efforts to get China's support along with India's support for rescheduling loans were being negotiated for several months. Apita labadi to financial assurances sambandhen ape hitawath michasili ratawal nay himiyan me wenakotama subawadi ba e awashya assurances laba demin pawatinawa indiyawa me wenakota assurances laba dunna ilangata chinese exim bank eka janadhipatthuma samaga karapu sakachcha wen pasuwa suba panividaya oun mudala mathyanshita laba dila thiyena paris club eka saha japane idiriye di laba dimata niyamithai kiyana sahathike apita thiyena Recently the US ambassador to Sri Lanka Julie Chang accused China of spoiling debt restructuring efforts in the country. Sri Lanka does not have time to delay. They need these assurances immediately. And we've seen again delays in Zambia and Chad and other countries uh, where for one reason or another it's been held up and uh, China has been the spoiler. So again for the sake of the Sri Lankan people we certainly hope the PRC is not a spoiler. Those remarks sparked a sharp response by the Chinese embassy who pointed out that the US was eager to accuse China of being a spoiler in Sri Lanka's efforts to secure an IMF deal. The Chinese embassy went on to highlight that the US should consider the disproportionate power it has over major policy decisions in the IMF due to its veto power. The embassy also highlighted that it was hypocritical of the US ambassador to play the blame game instead of self-examination considering the support that China has already provided Sri Lanka under its no-strings-attached commitment and practice.